man. Hmm. And the question is... John McLean, how did you become who you are? How did you become who you are? Greetings, Mr. Lonzo. I went to your site and I am assuming that is your name. You are a very wise individual and you speak a lot of positives about a lot of negative things in this world such as power, racism, classism, censorship, and current events. I felt prompted to message you because of your ability to remain positive in the face of all things bleak and negative and the question I want to ask you is how how did you arrive at a level of being centered and positive who wants to influence positive change as opposed to being someone negative? Without making this message too long and I can't hide forever the reason I ask you this is because I am going through a transition phase in life where I am striving to become a positive human being from 1997 to now. I have been so negative I literally cannot sleep at night without medication. Now so my major question is how did you get where you are today? It is much easier to be bad than it is to be good. You took the hard route and it shows. Best wishes. John, I'm going to be honest with you. All the negativity it has to be turned around. You can do a million things bad and nobody even sees it. You do one good thing and if it's not in a certain manner or the way it's supposed to be, you get ostracized for it. The positivity that I find in all this negativity comes from being a morbid and very negative person. Um, I am negative. So, all of the negative energy that I absorb from around me I redistribute the energy in a positive manner. It's easy to say all kind of bad and foul things and have no meaning behind it. Take the hard route. Try to say something positive when you can see no reason to be positive. That creates a positive being with inside you. No matter how crappy it looks out there, say something positive. Now, a friend of mine told me one time, if you wake up every morning and you say something good, just say something good. And I don't know if I learned this from him or I, I took this from him. I made an effort to come off I want to come off as positive as I possibly can because I have been so negative in life I don't know if this is my way of cleansing my soul but I know I feel a hell of a lot better not being the negative person I am supposed to be based on aesthetics. In other words, I'm a black guy, I'm older, you know, I've been treated bad by white people, life is bleak, I'm supposed to be bitter and pissed off because I have the right to be bitter and pissed off. But I learned one thing, no matter how bad things are, and no matter how tough things are, and no matter how bleak the situation may be, if that's all you can see in the situation, that's all the situation will be. That's the total outcome of the situation. If you see no positivity at all in a situation, the situation becomes anti-positive from the beginning, through the middle, and all over the climax. If a group of guys are fighting and you break up the fight I'll kill that motherfucker fuck you and you break up the fight now everybody's mad at you because you stopped two people from fighting but if you didn't stop those two people from fighting 
the one guy could kick the other guy in the head. One guy dies, and the other guy locked away for 25 years over a mutual disagreement. I can yell at you, cuss at you, scream at you, fuss at you, and fight with you all day. And talk to you, drink a beer about it, apologize about it, hear your end of the story, you know, and, you know, and come to an agreement. There's all kind of things that can happen to change the person's mindset. I learned that even when you have to say something negative, say it in a positive manner. I can cuss you out, hug you, shake your hand, pat you on the back, leave. And 45 minutes later, you'd be like, that son of a got me again. It's because I had been so negative, morbid, bleak, dark. Everything was dark, bleak. When you see no light at the end of the tunnel and you walk around in darkness, you have to realize the only way you can ever see any light is to reach deep down inside and pull it out of your pocket. You can't wait for that light to show up at the end of the tunnel. You have to create light. Stop. Pick up two sticks. Start a fire. You have to find a way to be positive. Um, I tell people I'm a pacifist because I used to be extremely violent. You used to see a cop flip out, motherfucker. You looking at me all funny? Fuck you. you. I ain't did nothing wrong. I ain't breaking the law. Cop just walking by looking. Now the cops got to stop to investigate. When you have seen so much negativity, my grandmother was talking about how the water hoses and the dogs fell. Need I say more? And we live in a society where people forget about other people's perspective. If that lady in the restaurant is pissing you off, Look at her life. What's pissing her off? What little quirk on your face when you walked up to the register? Or what What did you do when you first encountered somebody? I was telling my brother-in-law the other day when we went to breakfast. And we're sitting in this Denny's restaurant. He's like, man, where's my damn soda? We ordered our food. We was kind. We was nice. We was cool. We was black. They wanted to set us in front of everybody, like in the middle of the room. My brother's like, man, we want to sit. We want a booth. We get the booth. Then they ignored us at this Denny's. And I noticed that everything had changed. Everything was running pretty smooth. We didn't want to sit in the middle. The lady said, okay, she put us over. Everything was running smooth until the older white woman came to work. And I know a lot of Mexican people. And um, white people don't get mad at me for what I'm about to say. I said, ah, pinche gringa loca, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. The Mexican ladies were pretty much saying that when the white woman comes in, you got to stop doing this, you got to do this, what you got to say. And, and I noticed this woman was demanding. We had been there 30 minutes, and, and we, 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 we were getting taken care of at first. But once this white woman comes in, start bossing these people around, oh, here's my ink pen, why is it over here? Her whole aura changed the whole entire crew. Who pissed that lady off before she got to work? And why am I saying white lady? I could have just said that woman. It's because when I spoke to that woman, the Mexican lady, I said, pinche gringa. In other words, fucking white lady. That's fucking white lady tripping. In other words, I could have said gringa, which means white person or white lady, or, hey, what's wrong with her? What's wrong with jefe? What's wrong with the boss? You've been too... Ooh, I fucked it.